Amo. These are the bodies of uh, Nigerian police officers. These are six decomposed body of the Nigerian police officers. <laughs> This body were discovered by local vigilante men. Hello, good day everyone. Today is the 25th day of March, being Monday, 2024. So let us just do some security checks and updates in Nigeria. 12 policemen we are seeing dead in Delta State. Delta State is also in the news this evening. Sheikh Ahmed Gumi, the Kaduna based Islamic Nairis, who have been accused several times for identifying with bandits and also knowing the activities of the bandits terrorizing Nigeria has been detained in DSS custody for questioning. That is what they told us, that he was invited for questioning. Whereas I speak to you, he is in the DSS custody. Well, some people said that it is a great news that Sheikh Ahmed Gumi, um, that DSS has received a lot of petition and they tasked to arrest him right from time. Now, I think that is a good move so that um, if DSS will be fair, they will unravel some truths about his activities with the bandits. So that is apart. As you know, the Binance executive, one of the executives that was detained, has escaped. But that is not the true news. It has been released officially or he has been released in the garden because Nigeria cannot tell us that the Binance executive that was detained, they seized his passport and he escaped from the DSS custody and he went to the airport, he boarded the plane, the immigration checked him and after he flew out of Nigeria, they broke the news that he traveled through Kenyan passport. <laughs> well, well, Nigeria is a country that anything can happen. So I don't want to hear the news that he was, you know, he escaped. So I just want to put the fact there that he was released illegally. You know, there is nothing money cannot do in Nigeria. If money can buy elections, if money can buy votes, money can buy so many things. What about someone who is detained? Billions of dollars, millions of dollars could buy his release illegally, not officially. So that is the news. Now let's focus on the, you know, the invitation of Sheikh Ahmed Gumi, the Kaduna based Islamic cleric that was invited by Department of State Security Service, the DSS, for questioning. So many people are saying that, well, we are in Nigeria, there is nothing that will happen, he will not be detained, he will not be arrested. Now, first of all, let us talk about Sheikh Amegumi. What is his crime? Why do they invite him? Right from time, Sheikh Amegumi and Buhari uh, had consistently in the past told the Nigerian government that the banditry going on in Nigeria is supposed not to be illegal. They talk as if they, they support these bandits. And anytime the bandits abduct people, they are offering themselves to be the negotiators. So, and many more things, if something happened, they will talk in favor of bandits. And most of the time, uh, Shekane Gumi have been dragged so many times in using his own local language to instigate violence in Nigeria, telling them that um, if Christian win in Nasarawa state, that uh, it is a blow to Islamic people, to Muslim people, he said it several times. Um, the likes of um, um, this uh, pastor, this controversial pastor in Plateau State, always called out Sheikh Ahmed Gumi and Buhari that time. So, Sheikh Ahmed Gumi is not because of his involvement with Bandai 3 and all. I think he has been a controversial figure threatening the security of the country. But why are they limiting this invitation to Sheikh Ahmed Gumi? Why didn't they invite, um, what is it called, the former governor of Bono State, Sheriff? Sheriff um, Ademodu was accused, not was accused, they are proofs that he formed Boko Haram. Fadana made this video several times. I'm talking about the senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Fadana, accusing this man that he formed Boko Haram. The question is, why is it that up to now, this man has not been arrested, this man has not been invited? Um, even though we are encouraging um, DSS to do more, we're encouraging Nigerian security agencies to do more on bringing these people to book. Bring them to book. Invite them. Invite Andemodu Sheriff and interrogate him. I know that the current Vice President, Kassin Shetima, maybe he must have had an immune covering him that he cannot be arrested. Also invite him to question him. If he is found guilty, if you find him guilty when he leaves office, then let them prosecute him. Everyone that has been indicted of corruption, of uh, funding, um, what is it called, insecurity, one way or the other, anyone supporting 
um, the insecurity challenges in Nigeria should be brought to book. So I don't want any situation where they will fight one, they will not fight one. As far as we are commending them for inviting Sheikh Ahmed Gumi, they should also invite the rest of them so that we will know that this is not based on sentiment or religion or any other thing. So we commend them for inviting Sheikh Ahmed Gumi. We also implore them to invite um, Kassin Shetima and the Modu Sherif, as many of them that have been indicted in supporting insurgents. Yeah, have declared so many people wanted. These people also should be invited for questioning. Not because they control some persons. Instead of them to declare them wanted, they are just invited there. Well, it is not bad as we talk. Let's see what is going to happen. What they do with the invitation is what we are going to talk about, not the invitation itself. Amo, these are the bodies of uh, Nigerian police officers. These are six decomposed body of the Nigerian police officers. <laughs> This body were discovered by local vigilante men. The one you call Yambanga. Yambanga. They recovered this body. 19 of 19, 19 police officers were deployed at Ugeli, Delta State. And up to this day, 13 is missing. Six bodies have been found. Six bodies out of the 13. Now, this is where the thing gets interesting now. Now listen. I was waiting for the Nigerian police press statement on this. It is not out till now. But the Nigerian police released a press statement on Erisco Tomato. Erisco Tomato statement is out. They released a press statement on the Erisco Tomato, but have not released a press statement on the Nigerian police officer, 19 of our brothers of our father, of our uncle, of our loved ones? Or is it because they are junior officers? People that, that were deployed, all of a sudden, this body found, no press statement on them. You know these press statements now? Oh, blah, 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 blah. Anybody with useful information on the, the people that they should come forward, like those, they have not released even one, not even addressed it. But they have released press statement on a disco tomato where <laughs> man, everything is wrong with Nigeria. I'm telling you, Nigeria really has a problem. Nigeria really has a problem. These are our brothers. I know you, 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 you meeting your end in your line of duty, serving the nation is not a crime. But at least make our family know what happened. Let us let, them, let us know what happened to our own, our brother, our uncle, and our father. But they are like this. They they are quite. Their mouth is like this. So up to today. But go to their their handles. You see a risk of press statement there. A, a risk of press statement is there, but a, a, a police officer, 19 missing, no single press statement from them. At least, we didn't pay them respect, man. last respect. We need to pay last respect. Man, shout out to police officer out there doing good, though. Those of you out there doing good to make sure that Nigeria walk again, shout out to, shout out to you all, Alora.